of the 5 million registered voters under the new biometric voter registration system, more than 65% of that population is below the ages of 35 and that's where the battle lines have been drawn. With Morgan Changarai away for medical treatment, the alliance is turning to one of its youthful leaders to lure the youthful vote. Nelson Chamisa, who deputizes Changarai in the MDC, has been tasked to campaign on behalf of the ailing leader. The MDC alliance is irreversible. The MDC alliance is the only game in town. Those who think that is not a good idea, go and revise your mind. And align yourselves. We are going for a grand alliance or grand coalition. We are calling on all other parties, the likes of my Mujuru and your parties, come join us and benefit and everything will work out right. The MDC leader also joined the band wagon of activists who believe the new ZANU-PF leader should not be let off the hook before accounting for his past activities and that the international community should not be quick to readmit or accept the new order. Let there be peace and reconciliation in Zimbabwe first. Yes. Go back and talk to the war veterans and apologize for abusing them for such a long time. Yes. Go back to the workers and apologize to them for making their lives difficult for the first time. Go back to the pensioners and tell them that you are going to, rig to give them their money. Akaluza, Murumende, first Mr. Magadrisa and Davos. He must come and make peace with the families of all of the people. He called cockroaches with Kukurawundi, Kumik and the Umate and kill. When he has made peace with us, when he addresses my problems which were caused by himself and the ruling junta, he can then go and talk to the rest of the world. For now, he is not qualified to do that. Although the opposition said the country is not yet ready for elections, they are leaving no stone unturned and they seem to be gearing for the Battle of Zimbabwe. But in the past, they have failed to dislodge ZANU-PF and in 2004, they campaigned for a final push. That final push was premature. The final push is in 2018. We are fighting the biggest struggle of our generation to stop the Junda, to stop Emerson Munangagwa, to stop ZANU-PF. It's time to put a full stop to this struggle. In July of 2018, in August of 2018, we are going to fight the battle of our lives. President Emerson Mnangagwa is expected back in Harare on Tuesday after attending the World Economic Forum in Davos as well as the African Union Summit. Well,